Good afternoon. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Good afternoon, Don. Don. Great to have you guys Hi, here. Good afternoon. All right. Hello. Super. super. And that's the page. And we do this. I know what's going to happen. All right. Well, before we uh, get started, are there any questions at all? Hope you guys are seeing the right page. Go share. Facebook. That's what you should be seeing. And yet there's no green button. Are you guys seeing the Facebook page? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good, old, good old Zoom, not putting a green light around it. So I don't I can't tell what's lit up. Okay. All righty. No questions. Interesting. And we'll start out with uh, Stephen and Herpern. Uh, Stephen, you here? I'm here. Yes, sir. All right. Where are you? In the pictures? On my screen, I'm right next to you. Okay. All right. There you are. All right. All right. <clears throat> So tell us a little bit about the Oreo drop. Uh, first thing you got to know is you better have a lot of friends because you can't eat that many Oreos. Um, uh, I, I hate was, wasting. Wait a minute. Was that a challenge, Stephen? Because uh... um, I have been known to put away about three quarters of a bag of double stuff and then pay for it the next day. So uh, no, yeah. it's not a good idea. Yeah. The other thing... Um, no matter how many crumbs you blow off that cookie, uh, you will fill that milk with crumbs really fast. That yep. The hardest part of this whole picture was spending about 20 minutes getting rid of every single black fleck of our <laughs> cookie. Well, you did. Yeah. You did. Now, um, is this a single shot or is this uh, Photoshop putting that that cookie back in over top of a soggy cookie? The second one that's that's a nice cookie over the top of the soggy well it wasn't soggy but when it gets down into that shadow it's too dark got it and I you've wanted, got I wanted, I wanted a good exposure so i did it that way so how how deep is this milk or whatever you're dropping it into a real shallow bowl about an inch about an inch maybe yeah not much more than that i love and this little shadow that's playing around with it really gives it dimension it feels yeah, I, real good I, in there. I will admit to messing with that as well, just to kind of bring it in to, to do exactly that, to give it more dimension. Mm-hmm. Cookie looks good, nicely lit all the way through. It's a good shot, Stephen. How many did you do? Um, I think there were about 20 shots altogether. And that right. literally was the last splash. I looked at it in the camera and said, okay, we're done. Now I got to go fix it. Okay. And you can see the bowl really shallow. Yeah, so you you basically shot it until you knew you had it. Yep. And that was it. And you're dropping the cookie yourself? I am, yes. And that's really a pain because you have to drop the cookie and get your hand out of the shot and push the button at the right time. And there's about yes. five shots of fingers or cookie halfway down or cookie laying in milk with no splash. So. Yeah. You, you, you get it. After a while, though, you get it. And you know that you got to lead it because the digital cameras all have that slight delay. Yeah. That delay that is, uh, doesn't seem like there's a delay when you're out taking a picture of a mountain, but when you're dropping a cookie into milk, there's a delay and you feel it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nicely done. How was, how far up were your strobes? Uh, I think they're about, I initially had them down closer at a lower angle. And I didn't like the shadows. I didn't like the way the light was falling on it. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the way the cookie was disappearing. Okay. So they got lifted up about eight inches or so. So I'm guessing that's about 18, 20 inches, somewhere in there. Okay. They on what power were they on? Oh, they were way down about um, 
64th power, 128th power. Yeah. Beautiful freezing action on it. Yeah, those Einsteins have that nice action mode. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They're really nice. Great lights. Good job. Good job Thanks, all the way around. And Teresa, is Teresa here? I'm here, Don. That's okay. You're not on my screen, Teresa, but okay, go ahead. Tell can us you hear about. Me? Yep, I okay. can. Oh, okay. there you are. You just popped up. All right. Wow, this is a this is a pretty splash. Is the splash photoshopped onto the background, or did you have this much surface to work with? Um, I extended the background. <coughs> So yeah, up the, the back, there was not that much depth to it. Okay. So I didn't, I, I, I'm sorry, but I didn't take a behind the scenes of the, the splashing, but it was like a, like a little plastic storage bin from Home Depot. Um, and so I was shooting into it long. So there was a bit of background, but not that much. And it was really messy, the background. Mm-hmm. So your highlights look great. Thank you. Highlights look great right in here. That one, that one in the side. The top is nice highlight on it, but we still see the embossed, embossed uh, stuff up there. This embossing here, I think you could probably bring it out a little bit. Okay. With like, um, I, I'm thinking, you know, dodge it out maybe or vivesa maybe. Pull it out just a little bit. Uh, all of this looks great. Of course, the splash looks super good too. This is not a very big bottle. Um, it's a it's about probably four inches tall. Four inches, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know they're they're hard to shoot when they're that small, but you've uh, you've done a really good job with it. Thank you. Uh, I'd probably bring this background down a little bit more, right about to here. Okay. Yeah. Just let it get more of a gradient going to it because that tonality there and that tonality there are very close. So just darken it and then just darken just it gradient. Just a little bit with a gradient down, okay. just a little bit, you know, just mm -hmm. enough to let this pop out. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. And 100 millimeters. A dumb question. Uh huh. Uh, what is this splash? Is it milk? Is it cream? Cream. It's, it's ten percent cream. Yeah. So it's not like heavy cream, but yeah. It's... Ten percent cream in in milk. No, just a big carton of ten percent cream. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Did you colorize it? I did. Nice. Thank you. That was hard. It was hard to get it colorized and still have the highlights and the shadows. Wow, oh, that's very nice. Thank very you. good. Very good. Really looks great. Thank you. Hard shots to do and then pull them up and make them so nice. Really well done. Well, that's a big light from behind there. <laughs> it was already set up. So. Yeah. I did this actually pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah, yeah. it's a big light from behind and then the two bounce cards on the side yeah. and, and I made it, like a little sweep with just office paper. It's, it's important to note that none of this light is reflecting in this, in this bottle. The only thing that's lighting the bottle is this light lighting up these cards. Yeah. The cards are lighting the bottle. That's just producing the light. If the cards weren't there, there wouldn't be much to this picture at all. No, it, it, I definitely played around with that a lot. <clears throat> Should yeah. all be dark, it'd be nothing there. Yeah. I've been trying to figure out what, what I would call that passive light, maybe. Passive light, it's not it's ambient kind, light. It's, it's kind ambient. of like dark field lighting, but it's a white background on yeah. dark field. I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, no. What I'm what I'm talking about is the reflection here. It's okay. what it is, it's reflected light. Yeah. It's, you know, it's reflected light. That's what it is. And it's so hard sometimes to wrap your mind around the fact 
that the light isn't lighting this up. This is reflecting the card. Yeah. It's a big difference between lighting something up and having it reflect. Um, and that, that all those reflections are, are what make it work so well. Cool shot. Cool Thank shot. You. Amy. Hi. Oh, Amy, I love your orange. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it looks real fresh. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is good. Very tasty. <laughs> it looks like, a, is this a blood orange? Uh, Caracara. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this looks nice highlight here. Great little secondary highlight running right down there a little bit, uh, and then all around the the splash, you've got these great little highlights on the rim. Um, is that orange juice it's splashing into? It's orange juice mixed with agar agar to thicken it up a little bit. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And it was really cheap orange juice, so the color was horrible. So I had to adjust it in Photoshop. <laughs> you wonder, you wonder just what they made it out of, you know? Yeah, it, it looked almost brown. It was gross. <laughs> Do you ever see that those packages of the fake whipped cream? Is it like it's so. like it's called Cool Whip? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And it says on the package in clear letters. English, so I can understand. It says <laughs> non-dairy food. Okay, if it's not dairy, what is it? Is it yeah. whipped up pig's feet? I don't think so. <laughs> no. But if it's non-dairy, then you go to the, flip it over and you look at it and you go, oh, it's a chemistry set. That's what it is. Yeah, it's a real chemistry exactly. set. Exactly. <laughs> this is really pretty. Um, Thanks. Your, uh, bottle and orange i want to say were probably shot separate yeah, it was all done separately okay. yeah i i did the bottle and the orange um a few different ways i shot it together and separately and it never quite worked so i ended up having to shoot the bottle on a grapefruit half so it would get that slight bounce of orange on it oh okay and well, so it looked a lot more natural that way yep. yeah and then i um uh, and then I comped it onto this orange. Nice, nice, yes. uh, nice creation of the shadow there too. And then ISO 500, 60 millimeter lens. What did you use to make the splash? Uh, it was just the other half of the orange. I, oh, okay. I flipped so it over. You actually so the, did drop an orange in there and get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I tried a few different things and that seemed to work the best, like using the cut half of the orange to give mm -hmm. a big splash. Good job. Thanks. Good job. Look, look good in your portfolio. Anna Marie Nic Nicola. Wow. Anna, this doesn't even look real here. It's like something out of a Disney movie. It's real. Wow. But the color is in Photoshop though. I didn't, I didn't, I colored it later, but That's the fine. liquid, liquid is, um, is Elmer's glue and water. Okay. Which created a royal mess. Oh yeah. So obviously you shot the bottle separate. Well, obviously, yes. Yeah. And then use, what did you use to slide into this water, drop into it? Was it a bottle? It was a little, like a painter's scraper, about the same size. Oh, okay. As, as the bottle. Yeah, it's just beautiful. All this detail in here, all this detail is just really, really cool. Well, thank you. <clears throat> and, it's fact, uh, and as far as colorizing it after the fact, uh, I'm going to be really honest with uh, with you guys. I think I I said this maybe earlier in one of the in this class or later in the last class I did. If I was going to tell you one Photoshop trick that you have to know, it's colorizing your background. Well, We're moving away from you spending hours trying to get the perfect Pantone pink here, because the client's called a pink 157. And you're struggling, you know, it could take you all day to come up. It's like, no, do it on something that you can colorize. Then you can just apply pink 157 to it and be done. You know? Exactly. Because yeah. 
because you know it i had so many issues with this thing it was just i really had to try to create something out of nothing but it's two shots it's the bottle separate and then the splash is one shot yep. and i did clean up it a lot there was like little micro drops everywhere mm -hmm. so yeah. i clean it up a little but i also wanted to because this is this kind of is the color of the product and it is it is a little it was very not very creamy it is kind of a loose like a lotion type of thing yeah take care of those two right no 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 these are like headlines and yeah that copy over here it's stunning make a stunning ad um, no, we talked about your splash. The splash is very cool. We know that your bottle is beautiful. The bottle is great. I love this highlight coming down. I like the little highlight that's over here. We pick up right on that side. Beautiful, bright, bright highlight in here. We got a little bit softer one here with the gold and everything is very readable. It's yeah, uh, it's not because the bottle is actually, it is kind of translucent and a little gray. Uh -huh. gray. Uh, it's not really white, white. So I would say this is pretty accurate. Yeah, it looks except, really, really good. Except the gold is maybe too gold. I put a golden reflector there just because um, otherwise it would have been black, studio black. I would have put a gold reflector there too. Yeah. Because I can, I can desaturate this gold. Yeah. I can't put black into gold. No. That's much harder to do. So yeah, I would have put a gold reflector there as well. You've got enough black right here and right there for us to know that this is absolutely a shiny, shiny, shiny uh, lid, but it's got a little tooth to it, right? It's a little bumpy. It's got a little texture to it. It's yeah, not, it's, it's not it super is shiny. You can, you can feel it. It is, it is not like, like chrome shiny. Right. Yeah, it's, it's matte more. Yeah, and we can see that in the transitions here as the transitions are not sharp. But right up here where the edges are, it is quite sharp, quite shiny as the edges would normally be. You've really um, shown off very well the design and texture of this bottle, which believe me, this company spent a lot of time designing. Yeah. This is- Well, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's what <laughs> that was my, I mean, I, if I just, you know, I like to shoot products, but I have issues with my flashes and my splash work is like, it's so hard right now, but I'm, I'm hoping to get the, my cameras flashes to talk to each other and improve on that. That will always improve your photography. Yes. If the yeah. cameras actually talk, talk to the other pieces of equipment. Now, uh, what, what cameras are you using? <laughs> this was done actually with two cameras. Uh, the uh, splash was done with D3, which talks to my flashes. And right. then the product was done with Z7, which is my camera of choice, but mm -hmm. still can't get them talk to each other. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, very nice. It's a beautiful job. Thank you. Beautiful job. This is so flash you can up. see uh, I have like a tray and there's that little thing that I drop into. And I have a, and then that is just done with actually continuous light. Okay. And oh, yeah, if you're shooting the bottle, it doesn't matter. The splash has to be strobe, but if you're shooting the bottle, great. Yeah. Nicely done and very well put together. Thank you. Yes. Bob Royer. Hi, hey, Don. Hi, how'd you get all those strawberries? Just like, how many times do you have to drop them to get those strawberries spread out like that? Uh, several, but I also moved them in. Photoshop. But... Oh, Photoshop. Oh, I, I know you would never know. <laughs> you know, what's you know, what's uh, really nice is you drop, you actually put them in front of the same light, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. So yep. your highlights are perfect. I've seen people do this before and you'll not believe this, but they'll move around the object. So they think, well, the objects have, so I'll shoot it from this thing. I'll shoot it from this thing. I'll shoot it from that. Wait a minute. If you got that strawberry there, this light better match that strawberry big time. And your your lights all do a very good job here. 
Yeah, nothing moved. I had a horrible time with that <coughs> assignment. I, I wanted to do um, a product like like the you know the some of those really nice uh, uh, shots that the that the members have put in and I just I had a horrible time I just but you know, look at look what you did though you did a beautiful job with it it's a fun shot you've got a nice background that gets a little bit um darker over here so we've got a nice gradient here the berries look nicely lit up you've got a really good splash and your horizon is exactly where it needs to be I'm not personally crazy about the gray okay but that's an easy fix. You can recolorize that gray to anything you want, right? Right. I would probably uh, make it a little bit of a, a blue, maybe, maybe take the gray and just blue it up a little bit. Okay. Just add a little touch of blue. That'll pull the reds off the background. It'll separate really well. Okay. Yeah, it's a good shot. Bob, what did you use? Uh, ISO 800 F16, 263 millimeters on a 24 to 70. <coughs> uh, and how did you do the strawberries? Are they hanging? Nope, those are all drops. Oh, okay. Wow. I tried it also. I had uh, blackberries and blueberries all at the same time, but uh, I thought it looked better with just the strawberries i think it looks fine uh, and like i said you drop them in the same light they feel right um see actually bob was only shooting one strawberry here these are all the times he fired the shutter too early and thought oh what the hell we use that too <laughs> nice so, shot bob <laughs> nice shot. yeah colorize that background that gray is just a little too flat for me Let's let's get it to pop. And speed light, speed light, and eighty two hundred. All right. So you're eighty two hundred on this. What do you have the power? It looks like it's a little bit poppier than your side lights. It's uh, they were all at one one thirty second. Okay. So the eighty two hundred, by its very nature, is a stop brighter than your speed lights. Right. So if they're all at 3,200, then your top light on this is just about a stop brighter. And that's what it feels like here on these, okay. these strawberries. Yeah, good job. Thanks. And I like it, uh, again, I mean, I, I keep going off about the lighting. I like this, you know, the, the, the little bit brighter light up here, but by the time it gets down here, it's farther away from that light. So this light starts to pick up on the side. It really adds dimension, not only to the strawberries, but to the entire image. Nice. Great, thanks. Marjorie. Hi, Dan. Hi. What is this, a yogurt? No, it's the um, glue and water. Oh, OK. Which is messy. OK. Here's, what a, here's a couple of things. You got, a, okay. you got a really cool splash. Now, is this the strawberry that was splashed on or no? No. Was... OK. Uh, we got all the little dark seeds in here like that. We got to fix those, okay? Make okay. this strawberry perfect. And then the green, you got to isolate the green and, and, and saturate it. Got to pull that green out. We don't have any other color in this but the red and the red here, right? Which is okay. saturated beautifully. But the green is so soft, it's so desaturated because it's an older strawberry. We got to pull it back so we have that rich color against this this uh, very neutral white. And great job with the white. <coughs> Your background yeah. is just a little bit flatter, white, a uh, little bit gray compared to the white, and it really pulls it off the page. It's really nice. Okay. Good. How many splashes did you do? A thousand. Is this all one? Is this one shot? This one sh one splash and the strawberry added? Um, no, I did several splashes trying to get that perfect splash. In the no, I mean, did is this all? And did you Photoshop them together then, or? Is oh this, yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Got it. Okay. Hey Don, question for you. Yes, sir. 
what color should she have the seed when you, when you said get rid of the black uh, well seed. here if we if we blow it up and i don't know that we can we can't here i guess you see these seeds are a little bit like pinkish and yellow that's what we got to do to these we got to get these dark ones to match the other ones that are in the shade best way okay. to do it would just be to like lift it lift one of these other ones up and drop it in these little dark ones here i'd probably just lighten them up with like that one so you could take that seed and that seed and that seed take those three and just start replacing these darker ones with it so they okay. wouldn't have that old look to the strawberry yeah it's it's Good great to get a perfectly good strawberry but sometimes different times of the year and different places you know it's really hard to do but uh, on our end, we've got to deliver an absolutely perfect, fresh, clean, no, no problem strawberry. We call those first world problems. You know, <laughs> if, if all we have to worry about is whether our strawberry looks good as we drop it into the uh, glue, which makes it unedible, uh, I guess we're doing okay. Nicely, Marjorie. Nice, Marjorie. Oh, you got a big, uh, big box over the top, mm -hmm. and it looks like that's it. Well, I did have a, a small flash on the left, um, just for a little bit of pop there. Okay. I, yeah. I don't. Is, is it over? Is I don't it, see it either. It must be further back, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, I moved it by the time I remembered to take the shot. You know, okay. So, um, yeah. One thing you could do to get still make. To get a little more definition here, we could put some black cards up around it. Okay. Just little ones. Okay. You know, just a little black card here, maybe a little one right here. Then when the splashes are coming up and, and doing this, we get a little bit darker edge to them. Right now, this is called studio black. Studio black is just the fact that there's nothing there, you know, okay. reflecting the room. But if we control it, might, might get a little bit better. Uh, a line of the the darkness on it. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Very good. Thanks. Kit. Hey, Don. Hey, Kit. Nice. Down in. Oh, I like the little flash left over down here. That's cool. Yeah. Um, That's a beautiful dunk here. Whatever this is. Yeah, that was a, a previous dunk, so it's a composite. Okay, of what? What is this dunk? Is this milk or no? It's not. Milk. Yeah, it's it's cream. Cream. And the, you dropped the strawberry into it or something else? Uh, I I dropped strawberries just to get the same size splash, I guess. And okay, so one shot is the splash, and the strawberry was <laughs> down in the bottom of the cup, basically. And one shot for the nice clean cup, and then one shot for the strawberry you can see the top of okay now do you have a black card on each side i think you probably no you don't you're just using studio black as well yep and the studio black is what's doing that line and that area uh, and the shadow in here there's just nothing to reflect back into it um, black cards going to give you a better control over it but overall, this is pretty darn nice. Pretty darn nice for sure. Oh, good. Thanks. Yeah, very cool. ISO 400, F8, 160th. And the lens? Uh, the lens is a, what was it? It's a 24 to 80, and it was probably on <coughs> around 50. Okay. All right. That seems right to me. Very good. Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Whose is this? Ryan. Ryan Hodge. Ryan, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. All right. What do you? What's it falling into, Ryan? It's so dark and mysterious. I was trying to make a uh, kind of a black, creamy matte liquid. Uh huh. And as you can see, uh, it ended up. I was using acrylic paint with water. And then okay. I put in xanthan gum to make it a little bit thicker, but it's still, I could not get rid of the shine. So I just went with it. 
Oh, the shine's fine. I don't have any problem with the shine. If you don't have the shine, you're not going to have the splash. Well, I wanted more of a matte instead of a shine. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make it look like a, a black cream. Okay. But I like the way it came out too. So. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, I I done a bunch of light or clear liquids, and I wanted to to do something dark. Uh huh. I want to get rid of these two these two um, reflections. These are reflections of your light. Okay. Right there. So we're gonna kill those. That little part on the cap right there, we're gonna take that out, and then we won't have that feeling of a flash hitting it from the side. Um, then grab this bottle and brighten this bottle up, the blue in it. The rest okay. of the bottle, leave it alone. Just brighten that blue up a little bit. I bet you yeah. it. See, I kind of, I brought the that blue down because I thought with the black behind it, it would be unrealistic for the blue to be bright. Is that not the case? No, no, I no. As a matter of fact, uh, when if you were if you were shooting a beer here, for instance, yeah, a beer over here, right? Yeah. Look at the beer shots. It's against black, right? Yeah. That gear, that beer is golden. It's golden. If there's nothing behind it to make it golden, then it would be a a, a, a glass with dark, you know, <laughs> right. dingy uh, brown water. So yeah, we put some, sometimes we put gold card back there, sometimes white card, sometimes you bend it. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'll do a little tutorial this weekend uh, on on the different ways you can put the card behind the, the glass to get different effects. Okay. Really cool, good job. Thanks. And this is uh, a... Which lens and... Operation. It's a, it's a uh, thirty-five to seventy. Was that thirty-five? Okay, and that's the stuff it's in right there. Um, it's actually two shots. The bottle wasn't. I never used the bottle in the liquid. You can see the. Uh, there's like an a black acrylic that I put down to get the bottle it. itself. Yeah. And then I took off the bottle and the acrylic, and I had some uh, uh, the fake ice cubes. Mm -hmm. I glued them glued them together in roughly the shape of the bottle and drop that to make the splash. Okay, cool. Nicely done. Good thinking ahead too on that, creating the shape of the bottle to drop it. This way, hopefully it'd be easier with the splash. Yeah. Or more realistic, I guess. Yeah, I think you did a really good job. Is, nice. is this light going off? Yes, that's the one that was uh, really, really light. I think okay. one thirty second in the description right and then you've got something behind this scrim here right yep is there a light behind this scrim there is okay right where, right where the arrow is is the head of it oh okay got it all right right here so yep. we basically have a, a three light setup here one on the top coming through the scrim which is that beautiful soft light right there we've got a second one from over here and we've got one from over here and that's the one from on this side is doing all of this heavy lifting in here. Right. Uh, and and this is a reflection of what's up there, you know, angle of incident, angle of reflection. Uh, and your right side is giving you just a little bit of an edge here. Yeah, it's cool. I think, I think, I think it's gotta go into Photoshop and you've got to lovingly bring up some of the edges in the black, get rid okay. of those two dots, bring that blue up and uh, it'll be uh, very nice. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. This Chi Chi paint peach margarita. That's mine. Hi, Lee. Hi. So, are you? Is this in the air, or is it dropping behind? It's like dropping away from us. No, it it is dropped. And what happened is that the bottle, because it's plastic, uh -huh. it's bouncing back. So I think I capture the bottle bouncing. You got it on the bounce, huh? Yeah, I got it on the bounce. But it did a splash first and then bounced back. It was bad. At one point, it bounced and it turned all vertical. Okay. And I did capture the vertical, like, what happened? So it was bouncing. 
Brahla y Disha, está bien. It's not very sharp. This label is not sharp. We got to have the sharp label. Everything else looks good. I, I wonder is it because it bounced back up that the sharpness went out? Bounced yeah, back. because I focused first and I uh, minorly focused. <clears throat> everything was in focus, but uh, every time that it bounced, it went off a little. So it was very hard. All the images oh, yeah. were pretty much like this and as well. Yeah, that's, that's, so, what, that's why you got to get a shot of this uh, label. Yeah. yeah. And put, paste it right on. Yeah. Yeah, 16. Yeah, you're at F10. Um, yeah. Does your camera go to 22, your Fuji? Yes. I would go, I'd go to 22. Oh, okay. If it's moving anything forward to you, I'd go to 22. And remember that your focus, let's say this is the bottle laying here. Your focus, camera up here. Your focus is always going to be one third in front of the bottle when it's stopped down and two thirds behind the bottle, right? right? So if you pull out your calculator, a little calculator, you can actually figure out how high this thing is going to bounce. You don't worry about the fat back. You actually pre-focus a little above this. So if you're up here like this, he should bounce within the tolerable ranges of sharpness. Which is why you want to go to uh, uh, F22 as, as quick as possible, get to that right. um, aperture. If it's, if it's moving sideways, it's usually not a problem. Then it's, then it's motion. You know, your flash has to catch it, right? But when it's bouncing up, that's what it did. You were focused yeah. probably when you focus. The cameras, by the way, there's too many lines over there. We're going to get confused. The cameras are sort of set up that when they focus on that surface of the bottle right here, they're, they're really doing this, one third in front of the focus and two thirds behind it. They're really coming in in this third of an of a area of focus. That's what the cameras tend to do. They won't put it in the middle. You know, they'll kind of be way up here. You want to move the whole three lines up because we don't care about the background going out of focus. The heck with it, right. water. Right. We only care about this stuff that's coming up. And your and, and your some of your drops in this where area here are sh much sharper than the bottle. So I think that's exactly what happened. The bottle bounced out of focus. Yeah, it did. Yeah, cool. All right, figured out what you did there. One speed light, one back camera right and left was uh all right so you have a speed light on the right uh -huh. um yeah. the big box in the back and one speed light on the right camera right okay so and and the camera was shooting top down and it says two white reflectors are you actually lighting up the reflectors with the light speed lights right the the reflectors were kind of right <coughs> next to the uh, tripod legs. Okay. You don't see them here, but they were over there. So that's what the speed lights were doing. They were lighting up the reflectors, the reflectors then lighting up the, the subject. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Dan, uh, Dan. Oh, you actually dropped it into some cereal here. It's a little fuzzy right here. Is that you photoshopping that splash in? That's trying to blend that in. Yeah, I just yeah. I just did it with a very soft brush. Good strawberries. Uh, the cornflakes. Here's the trick to cornflakes. Once you get them in there like this, gently pour them over this and take a fork and just tap them a little bit. Because we don't really want to see milk. We want to see corn flakes with milk around it. See my point? Okay, yeah, I, I, I a actually- A lot of sprinkled. milk here. We want to see corn flakes everywhere. Doing breakfast cereal is 
really tough. Yeah, I, I did sprinkle it over the top, but I, I wanted to leave enough milk to sell the splash, I guess. Well, I, yeah, and I would have told you to do the opposite. The, the, the milk will sell the splash. And you might even want to add, um, you know, a, a flake up in here and a flake coming in forward. If you had a couple of flakes right in here, like they're splashing out, right? Right. You'd probably sell the, the, the splash without the softness there because the softness is, is, is hurting the shot. Um, other than that, really nice composition we have space up here but it's not too much space it feels right we've got space around down here um and these things i really do think though dan what were you at f4 yeah i think this is an f11 shot i think having this bowl go out of focus is not good especially when it's the spoon the, the thing about like the spoons and, and forks, when they go out of focus, they just become the sort of thing, you know? Right. And we want to know that it's a spoon. Highlights great on the, on the strawberries here. Uh, let's take a look at your lighting. Lighting looks good. Let's see what you did here. Say so you, what I, What's going on with the light? Is that, is that a scrim behind it? There's a big scrim on the uh, camera right there. And then I put that, uh, I brought that um, that tarp in behind uh, just to soften up the, you know, a little bit more fill. Okay. And is there's got to be something over here, right? Over where? We've got highlight here, unless oh, unless this highlight's coming from the milk, maybe it's coming. From I the think milk. that's coming off the, the the milk of the bowl. Man, maybe what it's doing is just coming off that little splash of milk there, because that's pretty bright highlight. So that splash is coming up, being lit up right there, and then reflecting back in the strawberry. Now that one would that have been shot in the cent center of the bowl with nothing but but cream in it. Oh, okay. When, when I shot the splash, so. Yeah, see that's what because I'm not seeing that I'm what if there was something over there they'd be in these as well so I'm not seeing them there I'm only seeing it there. Okay. What I would I would do when you got a shot like this, this background right here, you see how how flat it is. It's the same here as it is here. Uh huh. There's two ways of going. You could darken it, which would be okay to do, but I would say lighten it. Let us feel like there's light back behind this and like we could, like there's another dimension. It'll really add dimension to the shot. When it's flat like this, we don't, it doesn't enhance the image. So you could darken it to make it feel like the, that pushes the subject forward. Uh, because of the darkness in the back or lighten it and that makes us feel as though there's some light back there there's another area back there you know what i'm saying right. our right, brain yeah. says that there's something happening there and that would be very easy to do you can make it look like there was window light coming back don't go heavy-handed with it just just a little bit but you'd want to have that be brighter than than there and what lens 50 millimeter all right, good, good, good. All right. Graham. I don't think Graham's here. Oh, he is here. Yeah, I'm here. Hey there. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good. Yourself? All right. So, all right, so tell us a little bit about this. You got all these sparkles back there. I don't know what that is. Good fun. That splash. Like I did on the um, uh, whiskey bottle. Okay. I've okay. just got massive splash happening everywhere. And I like the look of it because I've got the whiskey bottle and I wanted uh, two or three more in the portfolio similar. So that's okay. all splash. That, that splash is huge. <coughs> and I've just decided I like that look and I wanted a few more in the, the portfolio similar to that. Okay. This, so, this, this is, I don't What is this happening in the, is this a moray pattern happening in the cap here? 
It's total chrome. Yeah, but what are those lines? Those squiggly lines. We got little squiggly lines all through this. That's how it captured. And I didn't know whether to take them out or put them in because I thought the other looks a bit, the other side of it looks pretty flat because it's white card and bounce and heavily touched up. That actually was um, out of capture, out of um, camera, and I decided to leave it. Where is, um, are you sure? I, I wasn't sure. sure. Some sort of design under the chrome? No. That's just literally the, the reflection of what was around, I guess. The water splash and, and the, the bottle reflect. It's a little bit red in there. Okay. So, okay. yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. I, I'm guessing it's the, the splash that's reflecting in there. But would you take it out? Whatever's in there is coming from over here. Yeah. It's coming from over there. And I don't know what it is. But the, the thing is, these guys are going to go, what's that pattern? We don't have that in our jar. We can't add okay. it because people will go, well, where's the squiggly pattern in my lid? You know, and gotcha. I know it always sounds funny when you when you say that when I say that people will do that. And people think, oh, nobody will do it. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I looked at it and I wondered and I thought, no, nah, that's as it was shot. I'll I'll get your advice on it. Yeah, I'd smooth that out somehow. Okay, gotcha. That's easy enough to do. Yeah, you're, you're, all the reading is nice and clear. Nice and clear. Uh, this is you again. Now, where? what are we looking at? Softbox off to the um, right-hand side. I'm sorry, I, I'd packed up the flash, um, and it was a bit hard to get it back into the garden, so I'm shooting in the garden at the moment. Okay. So there's a single... Uh, flash behind speed light behind on a single bar and, and where, um, where did you shoot it in this yeah okay so that's about an inch of water about an inch of water all right yeah cool i'm gonna make that higher for next time yeah you know finding the depth is another question right when we're doing this if it's deep enough to go over the product, like this lovely shot by Lawrence here, uh, Lawrence, did it did it actually go over the bottle like this, or did you work yes. this on? Yes. Yeah. So if it's deep enough to, to fold back over the, the front of it, that's a different kind of splash. The depth is a different kind of splash than if it if you drop it mm. into something really shallow and it hits the back, you know, you drop it into a little half an inch of water, you're going to get a different kind of splash. This thing is actually sinking into the, into the background. Um, Lawrence, how many uh, shots did you do to get this? This is really beautiful. Uh, quite a lot, <laughs> quite a lot, a few hundred. Now is this? Um, it's one shot. This is one shot? Yeah. Wow. A one shot, and um, I use um, Pro Capture, um, which is a, a mod on, on my uh, Olympus OMG. Uh, and basically, what it does is start capturing picture. I think it's 60 frames per second as soon as you uh, half press the okay the release button. So it makes it easier to get to get that kind of shot. Uh, I think it's a feature for wildlife photography. Yeah, and, well. and natural light, right? You, you're outside doing yeah. this? Yeah. yeah. Natural light. Yeah, you can't get a strobe to fire that fast. Um, but look at how beautifully sharp your liquid is. So you had to be at a pretty high shutter speed. Yeah, it was 10,000. One ten thousandth of a second. Yeah, yeah. And it's manual focus because I... I... <laughs> I, I couldn't. I uh, couldn't do it with uh, well, the autofocus. I don't know. Uh, I don't know so, much about the Olympus cameras. So the OMD EMT Mark III is a mirrorless camera, then, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 You can't get shutter speeds of ten thousandths on a DSLR. That's for sure. Uh, really beautiful shot. Stunning shot. Thank you. Awesome. Just, just really awesome. Few little things. Few yep. little things. See how the the S's are breaking up there. A little, little fix your S's. 
here in okay. skin and sweat proof. Um, yeah, there's a couple of white e. reflections that I left here. Yeah. The E is a mess is a mess right on the tops of it, and then the T up here, and then the O. Yeah. Those little things. Now you might say, well, that's like no big deal. Who would notice that? Believe me, in this business, that that's where the money's made. That's okay. what separates Lawrence from the guy across the street who got his uh, cannon for Christmas. Okay, it's okay. that attention to detail. And when you show your picture to someone who knows the business, that's the first thing they're going to look at. How did, well did you capture this logo? There's two, two ways of doing the logo. On a lower to mid-range shot, you do it exactly the way you shot it here, right? On a really high, if this was for an ad, we would shoot the bottle. They give you bottles with nothing on the front just the bottles. He would shoot the bottle. You would take the, the, um, the graphic, the illustrator file and warp it around the bottle so that it would be, be absolutely perfect. Yeah. I, I try to, uh, as a couple of, um, drops on the, on the bottle that I removed and I, I tried to use, uh, another shot and try to wrap around, but I, <laughs> I'm really struggling with wrapping things and try to to, to match is is quite difficult. So I have to to practice a lot more. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Very nice. Really looks good. Thank you. Very solid. Very within the genre. Thanks. Yes. Greg. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? Oh, really like this. Thank you very much. Really like this. I, 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 you've got some cold tones in the hands, uh, some cool tones in the liquid. I really like this a lot. Who knows how he did it? Anybody? Lee knows how he did it. How do you do it, Lee? He did it on um, an aquarium. Yeah. Uh, pushing the hand down and yep. then we're upside down. We're Upside down, shot. Yep. upside down and then in Photoshop up. Yep. Looks like it's just reaching up in the air, pulling all that water. That's not water. Those are bubbles. Are we right, Greg? Yep. You got it. That's the ticket. Really looks good, man. You think the hand, the fingers are still too blue? No. I, no. Took, I took blue out of them. Well, no, but you know, it looks cold. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's what my hand would look like if I was in, reaching into ice cold water. Have you ever had a Bud Light? I have had a Bud Light. Yes, it has to be really cold to stomach it. <laughs> well, I guess. Really cold. <clears throat> yeah, cool. Love it. Uh, I love the highlight. I, I want to see how you did it. I want everybody to see how you did it. All right. So, Wait a minute. There's there's no Greg. Hey, I don't there's know. Just it's a hand. A, it's a miracle. <laughs> Greg is invisible. Oh, it's that's King right. From the Adams right. family. Greg is invisible. That's right. I forgot. That's one of his superpowers. Green oh, screen. Okay. All right. Real good, man. Thank you. Very complex photograph. It's a very complex photograph. Look how he's got this light. Uh, down here is this a, a light that's reflecting from something down here or is that a light itself what are we seeing that, here? that's a light uh how come you're not seeing my whole uh can you back out of the there you go yeah so i've got the explorer light on this down there on the left and it's got it. it's uh, got a grid on it i forgot to say it does have a grid but it's <coughs> shooting straight into the side of the aquarium and a bounce white card over here to pull that light back on this side. Yeah. A speed light to fill the front of the bottle. So how far forward is the speed light? It's about 10 inches in front of the glass aquarium. Got it. Coming but shooting glass, down at an angle. Yeah, yeah. so I'm not angle, catching. You won't get a reflection. Right. And a speed light shooting straight down. 
on top and that just lights up some of the, the water on top. That, which is uh, of course all the bottom. Angle speed light just to come down on the label really does a nice job. Oh, you've got to have some, wait a minute, you even lit up the beer. It's so natural looking, I totally forgot. You lit up the beer, how'd you light up the beer? Which was so that doesn't show in this shot. I, I actually had a white panel behind the aquarium and with a speed light lighting up the white panel. Got it. So and you took uh, it yeah. Photoshop in? Well, so that just isn't in this particular back uh, behind the scenes shot. But yeah, but, but when you shot it, was there a card like this around it and you took it out? Most of the background was white. So I put in the, ba the black background. Nice. Really nice. Well done. Thank you. Really well done, man. Jerry Campion. Great, hey, Don. Hi, great splash. The liquid is moving around in here, so it does. It looks like it's it's uh, got a little bit of color and density to it up in the air. Um, let's saturate these guys. I think we okay. get a little more color out of these guys. Definitely think we get more color out of that one. We get some more color out of that one. Just saturate them up. Uh, we don't even see the horizon, but it looks like it's right about there. So that's in a good spot. The glass looks really good down through here. Nice on the sides. This is, I take it this is a dark field lighting with a kicker light. Yes, yeah. All right. All right, very cool. And is this one hanging from something? I actually held it with a stick. <laughs> Got it. All right. So it's stationary and the other one is crashing into the water, right? Yeah. 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 Really good. Really good. What's this little line here? That's um, that's composite. So that, I think that was the line of the water level. Wow. Okay, kill the line. Okay. Kill the line. We don't want to see that line. That should be an easy fix and with the clone tool. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, get some more color into those things, kill the line and post it up on Facebook. Okay, will do. I really want to see it on Facebook. And we've got, um, this is a, uh, Fuji XT58 at 55, so about 100 millimeters, F16, right? Yeah, the 55, it's about 85. Okay, so this is an opaque something, and this is your light coming from behind. Yes, yeah, so I actually had the black card at the back of the scrim. Mm -hmm. Just to sit on a ledge there, just made it easy to put it in there. And this is a snoot? Yeah, that was just on to, to okay. put a bit more light on the strawberry. Okay. <clears throat> it's not bad for a snoot. Usually I'm not a, I'm not a fan of snoots. Not bad for a snoot. Uh, we get some more or you red into this and we're going to clean it right up. Good job. Okay, thank you. Got to make it really pop like that. Whoa, what the heck? Hello, Don. That's the world's largest Cheerio. What the hell's going on? Nope, here? that's actually a donut. A donut. Wow, man, the, the shadows are wild. I was I was going for hard light, and just wanted to see what I would come up with. And looks cool. Looks very cool. Hang on, Lauren. Hey, Lauren, how many yep. drops did it take you to get that splash up the middle? 64. <laughs> so did it, did most of the time the donut fall slightly at an angle? I mean, that it looks like it fell perfectly flat. That, that one fell perfectly flat. That was early on, but we kept going for about another hour. 
And are you dropping and taking the picture? Or do you no, I'm taking on? the picture. My daughter is doing the drop. Okay, very good. She, she's the one that uh, got all wet with half and half. <laughs> How old's your daughter? Uh, 26. Oh, well, great. How, do, and she is willing to can stay in and help you do it? Oh, absolutely. All my helpers have very, very short um, patience levels. <laughs> No, in fact, uh, one of the assignments uh, we had in P-52 was for uh, showing something being hot. And the minute I mentioned that I was going to use fire, she was at the door. <laughs> Coming or going? Coming. She's just, she's a, a little pyromaniac. Oh, good. Yeah, there you go. And she just, she just loves doing this stuff. Well, it's nice to be able to have your daughter help you like that. So, yeah, both of my kids help out at times when they can. Hey, Lauren, how many donuts do you use? Uh, three. The guy at the at the uh, at the bakery was thought I was nuts because I was sitting there, uh, you know, scrutinizing all the donuts, you know, that were on in the case you know, felt like I was playing chess, you know, telling them why, you know, third row, fifth one back, you know. How many shots, Lauren? Uh, I took a total of 63. 63? 63? Yeah, 63. And this is a... Oh, no, no, to, this is one shot. Oh. I want to see your lighting. I have three speed lights at 164th power on three uh, light stands about three feet in the air shooting down onto the uh under the cream so that mix that mix of uh of uh different you know where the shadows overlap and get twice as dark is really really powerful it's a very cool shot thank you and you shot with a oh 24 24 to 120 at F8. Yeah, cool. Very cool shot. I don't know how an ad agency would feel about it, but I'd show it around to people. Okay. Because it's kind of cool. And this whole lacy thing that you got with the drops and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Was that it? Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. All right. Really fun, guys. Really good stuff. One of the... Um, one of the things that we've been talking about lately over on the, in the, in the group is the difference between being the best at something and being the only, you're always going to come out better when you're the only. So if you're shooting things like these splash shots, trust me when I tell you that if you uh, looked at 25 portfolios and wherever you live, and I don't care if you live in a big city or a small one, 25 portfolios, you're not going to find many people doing the splash shots because they're just flipping hard. They're just hard. you got to keep barreling through. And after you drop, how, how many donuts you, the time did you drop the donut? Uh, 63. How many donuts did you go through? Three. Three donuts. Okay. I, that's weird. I would have thought you'd gone through more than that. But, um, but yeah, well, my daughter yeah. kept wiping them off. <laughs> she'd drop with then <laughs> she'd wipe it down and <laughs> drop it again. She has great reverence for donuts. So oh, yes. Can, oh, yes. I can identify with that. Yes, very much so. Um, but it seemed that the the, the <laughs> doggier the donut got, the better the splash was. Kept getting heavier. Yeah. 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 Um Really, really unique idea there. Um, as you as you progress through this stuff and you start to do stuff that other people aren't doing, uh, when I say it's better to be the only, it doesn't mean like the absolute only out of uh, I don't know how many people there are on the planet, six seven thousand people on the planet. So I don't mean the only one ever. I mean doing one other thing that you add to your portfolio that most other people don't have. Uh, and that's, that's really part of it. Um, 
I always ask photographers as they're marketing themselves, you got to ask yourself, what's your story? Why are you a photographer? And if it's because you were given a camera in the eighth grade and you really fell in love with it, that's not enough. Nobody cares. Why, you know, is what, what do you want to capture? What do you want to say? Um, really, really cool. On a non-photographic related message, I actually bought um, Bitcoin today. I don't even know what it is, but I figured I better, everybody else is talking about it. I better jump in. So I, I went and bought $200 worth of Bitcoin. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to be left flat footed. Uh, and while everything else goes one way and me going, Oh, I didn't, I didn't take the time to learn about it. So. <laughs> so so we'll Don tomorrow morning when you wake up and it's worth $10,000, will you keep or sell? You know, I only invested $200. I don't know if I, I don't, it's like, I wanted to invest enough money that if I lost it all, I wouldn't go, Oh my God. And you know, want to go out and put a bullet in my head. Right. <clears throat> um, but I also wanted to invest enough that I could see what happens with it. Now, if I wake up tomorrow and it's worth $10,000, I'm probably going to hold it. Yeah, I think I would too. I think I just simply hold it. Um, you know, uh, I don't need the 200 right now. So what if I hold it for five years and it's worth 40 K because that's possible, I guess, with this stuff, I'd rather do that than, uh, um, you know, John, yeah. who'd you buy it? Who did you, who did you buy it through? I bought, I bought, uh, $100 of Bitcoin and $100 of Ethereum. And I got it through Coinbase. So, and I, you know how much I know about this stuff? Absolutely nothing. People say, what about blockchain technology? And I go, yeah, it's really, really cool. And I'm thinking, I don't have a freaking clue what it is, but I'm going to know. I'm going to know. Anyway, uh, this is not an ad for my new multi-level marketing Bitcoin business. So don't freak out, folks. We're not doing that. Um. <laughs> so will you be uh, taking Bitcoin to pay for our classes? No, I ain't that <laughs> sure of it. <laughs> I don't know. I might let one person, you know, one person <laughs> do it and see what would happen with that. But yeah, uh, yeah, I do that. <clears throat> I just, what scares me about, about all this stuff is government. You know, right now, if you cash out your Bitcoin or your Ethereum, you do get, um, I want to say a 1099. It's a different number, but it's capital gains. You pay capital gains on it. But if you've got Bitcoin and you're buying something with Bitcoin, Nobody's tracking that. There's no sales tax on Bitcoin, right? I don't think governments all over the world are going to let that stand. I just don't see it happening. And I think there'll, there'll be a, a clash between the tech of Bitcoin, which is very, very interesting. This whole can't hack it, can't steal from it, can't, um, uh, can't manipulate it. All of our elections going forward should be on bit on uh, blockchain. Everything should be on blockchain. It cannot be tampered with. Um, that would be cool. That would, that would be cool. And the other thing is you can build on top of it. So we're going to see what kind of tools I can build on top of the blockchain technology uh, for photographers. That could be fun. Anyway. Oh, Don, oh, Don. Uh, <coughs> early yeah. on, early on in Bitcoin, uh, there was an issue where if you lost your sign in, and your password or however it is you get into it, you could never get into it. So yeah, people... they have it fixed. They have that fixed. There's some sort of, you got to jump through a whole lot of hoops. Okay. But <laughs> you can recover it. Yeah, because there was people who had large chunks and they didn't pay attention. They just got some and years later, oh, geez, that computer's dead and there's no way to get into it. And they were shit out of luck. So that's good I, they it. <laughs> I've been playing with a new technology for passwords. Oh. <laughs> yep yeah i have about 20 of those yep 
it, it's fascinating. Every once in a while, you have to reform the tip of the device <laughs> with the little grinder thing. <laughs> But other than that, it sort of maintains itself, so. And, and sometimes I have to think, when, how long ago did I get this password? And I look back, is it on the pink paper or yellow paper? <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and no, I don't have the same password on everything. I just have a little book of passwords and I use that password thing on the computer. So I only have to look it up if, if I, you know. If I'm so on somebody's computer that I can't find it, I can actually look it up. So, what's the encryption level? Is it English? Is that what it is? Um, I just <laughs> use the name of my dog. <laughs> I was at I was at this guy's uh, security, uh, so internet security guy is uh, was the husband. I was there working with the wife who was a entrepreneur building a business. I said, can I get on your Wi-Fi? And she kind of like sits back and rolls her eyes. She goes, okay, let me get it for you. It was like this long. I mean, this guy was really serious about security. But it must have had like 60 characters. I got to tell you, it was unbelievable. <clears throat> but I got on. And the next time I came over, my computer hooked up just instantly. I thought, well, that's stupid. I'd get rid of that feature really quick. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, any other questions? All right, so glad you guys are here and doing this thing. I'll get this video made right away and we'll get it up. And uh, we'll see you guys on uh, Saturday or next Tuesday. Take care. Thanks, Dad. Thanks. Bye -bye. Thank you, Don. Bye. 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 Bye.